we need to talk about Dexcom, the longtime Kramer fave that makes continuous glucose monitoring systems for people with diabetes. You know I love this device because it means diabetics don't need to constantly prick their fingers to test their blood sugar levels. But Dexcom stock had been stalled out in recent months. I mean, you had that rotation out of high-flying growth stocks. Then last month, people started worrying about one of their competitors, Abbott Labs, teaming up with Tandem Therapeutics, an insulin pump maker to offer a kind of artificial pancreas. We know we like Abbott Labs. Good company. But I urge you to stick with Dexcom because the fundamentals were still fantastic. And last week, the company wore us by reporting a stunning quarter. Dexcom earned 65 cents per share. Analysts were looking for 20 cents. And that's massively better. It's biggest beat, biggest beat of 2019. Management raised their full year forecast dramatically, too. These results caught the short sellers with the pants down. The stock surged 27 percent last Wednesday, right in time for World Diabetes Day, which is tomorrow. You normally only see this kind of action with a takeover bid. So uh, could this have more room to run? Let's check in with Kevin Sayer. He is the bankable chairman and CEO of Dexcon. He got a better read on the quarter as his company celebrates its 20th anniversary. They rang the bell to Nasdaq this morning. Mr. Sayer, welcome back to Man Money. Thank you. Good Jeff. to see you, Kevin. Good to see you. Yeah. Congratulations on 20 years. Congratulations on an amazing quarter. How does a company do that much better than everybody expects? We solve a serious problem. Uh, as, as this year has gone by, every quarter we've had incredible growth, right. and it just continues. And, and awareness of Dexcom product continues. We've worked very hard uh, to make it more accessible mm-hmm. for patients, uh, easier for them to get. And, and all these things are leading to just significant growth. Well, there are things that you told us that could happen that a lot of people said were not going to be able to happen. Type 2 diabetes, the shift to pharmacy. Both these are big secular growth trends that I still think may be like in their like second quarter. Well, I would tell you that the, the type 2 business is, is almost where it was when we first met. Right. It's like it's just barely starting. The shift to the pharmacy and access is happening. Uh, we have coverage with most of the, many of the major payers right now, so patients can get product at the drugstore. We re- recently announced an agreement with Walgreens for yes. our Medicare patients to be able to go get uh, product at Walgreens. And actually, we've tied our Clarity online data system to the Walgreens portal, so patients can, you know, those two things are together. Well, won't CVS want to do the same thing with their sure, health hubs? Sure they will. Right? And sure because will. CVS can't let Walgreens be the only one that's Dexcom. No, no, no. And, and this whole... Integration of healthcare data is going to be it's going to be really the next frontier. I'm glad you mentioned this because we had this uh, news, and I know you have a relationship with Alphabet, which is a fine company. They had this, uh, op, this uh, Nightingale, this Operation Nightingale. Uh, it, forget that they kind of screwed up in the way it was. The truth is, is that big data is a way for us to learn how to lead our lives if it's using a Dexcom, right? Oh, I, I absolutely believe so. Uh, we're seeing trends all over as we do Type Two programs, for example, to learn where you take all the data from these patients and you can really diagnose, are the drugs effective? How do we change activity? You know, what recommendations do we make? What do we, what do we learn to eat? Yeah, snack and the change, at night. And the change snack at, at night. We discover that may not thing. be so good. Bad thing. <laughs> but that, really? I know a lot of friends who have, have, I have, unfortunately, have di- a lot of friends I have diabetes. They, that is not something they knew. No, I know that. Well, that's all because of you guys. Now, you've also been able to build awareness. When you first were on, it was a niche little company. It that, really was. Uh, and I said, well, geez, I don't know. They're up against Abbott Labs. That's Miles Wade, who retired today. Great man. Uh, how did you get the word out? The word has happened a lot through our patient community. Okay. Uh, when we rang the bell today, we had a group of, of what we call Dexcom warriors, patients who really carry the message. There's been a lot of word to mouth. A, a lot of our digital marketing programs have been successful. The industry in general, you know, when people have outcomes that are so different, I've had numerous people come up to me at shows and say thank you and hold their hands up. And at first I didn't know what they were talking about. Well, it's because their fingers aren't chafed anymore because they're not doing finger sticks. And when you hear things like that and you see things like that, you you know the message is getting out there. Well, it does. I I want you to walk through what the new one does because it does make the old way feel a lot lot of Stone Age. I wish we don't have one here, but it's really rather miraculous, the data that you have. Just tell people so they understand. Because I I want them to know that this thing isn't done. Oh, it's not close to done. Our current uh, G6 system has several significant changes from the previous one. The most important one is you don't have to calibrate it anymore with a finger stick. And by not calibrating with a finger stick, those finger sticks hurt, you know, and, and they've hurt patients for a long time. It's, it's a much better outcome. Uh, it lasts 10 days. It's, it's highly accurate. Patients trust it. It's connected to the phone. The data can be shared. You know, we share our data, and you look at that and think that's a parent-child thing. 
But when we rang the bell this morning, I talked to a young woman in her 20s who told us a story about her mother overseas waking her up in the middle of the night because her blood glucose had gone down so low and had the door of our hotel room broke into to wake her up because the data was being shared. When you can do things like that and deliver results like that with a system, you're really solving, as I said earlier, you're solving a very serious problem. Now, I also, because the numbers do matter, you are making much more per Dexcom. I mean, the margins exploded. I would think that last time you were talking about being constrained in, in product, that maybe it would mean that you'd make less. We're still a bit constrained on the production side, and if you look at our gross margins, they were good. We'd hope, we, we'd hope for better. Operating profit is, is where we really knocked it out of the park this quarter. What you're seeing now is leverage in our business. We've always invested heavily in R&D, and the percent of our revenues we invest is still high. But as the revenues have grown, we've kept the dollars a little closer and, and, and been more cognizant of the leverage. And, and so you see our, our SG&A expenses and R&D expenses, a percentage of revenues coming down. Like the last question. Now, we know Abbott does have a competitive product coming out very soon. It was talked about when Miles White handed the torch over to Mr. Ford. If you're watching, should you be saying, you know what, I've kind of, they, they in the end are still too small to take on Abbott, or should we be talking about an expanding market and maybe a superior product? We've been taking on Abbott and Medtronic for a long time, and we have always had the superior technology and product. It is our mission and one of our core values to make sure our product is highly competitive and answers needs. So we'll, we'll continue to take those guys on. This is a great market, and there's room for all of us. This isn't a zero-sum game. There are a number of patients who li whose lives need to be bettered, uh, particularly with what Dexcom has to offer. Well, I want to congratulate you and for all the people who stuck with it because there's just these moments where people say, hey, listen, it's done. <laughs> it's obvious that it's, a, unfortunately, a huge runway for many years. Uh, it's a runway for a long time. Yeah. Thank you so much to Kevin Sayer, the chairman, president, CEO of Dexcom. Congratulations on 20 years, and let's get more awareness for World Diabetes Day. We've got Thank to you. do that. Thank you so much. Thank you, Jim. Stay with Kramer. Don't miss a second of Mad Money. Follow at Jim Kramer on Twitter. Have a question? Tweet Kramer. Hashtag Mad Tweets. Send Jim an email to madmoney at CNBC.com or give us a call at 1 800 743 CNBC. Miss something? Head to madmoney.cnbc.com.